Jason Kemmerer here, Consulting Sales Engineer with Forcepoint. And today we're going to be talking about the great resignation and the proactive approach to data security. So what does that mean? Um, there's a lot of statistics and recent conversations we've had around folks resigning and leaving organizations and taking data with them. Um, to that degree, we have a scenario we're going to be going through today using uh, a plethora of data security solutions by Forcepoint, leveraging our data loss prevention, our insider threat, and our risk adaptive protection solution. So in this scenario, we have a user named Phil that's going to leave an organization and take customer records with them. It's going to begin this story by him conversing with a recruiter, trying to bypass security controls because he's an IT administrator, and then try multiple exfiltration scenarios through web uploads, email communications, and even try to encrypt and zip stockpile data before removing it to removal media. So what's the force point response to this approach? Uh, zero trust, right? So leveraging that risk adaptive component to it, we are now introducing proactive risk scoring and those enforcement mechanisms that follow suit in reaction to those different DLP attempts. So when a user is conversating and uploading their resume, then stockpiling that data, and then last but not least, exfiltrating that data, we use enforcement mechanisms and can use video recording and keystroke monitoring to really provide that final case load to legal litigation and law enforcement, however we need to see fit. So let's take a look. So today, Phil is going to begin that use case by talking to that competitive recruiter. Here is the resume you asked for. Go ahead and attach that resume. And as he plots his escape, we can go ahead and start bypassing some security controls. And we'll begin by disabling our proxy to avoid inspection, as well as clearing some system event logs. And that's just the beginning, right? So from there, we'll take those suspicious files and we're gonna stockpile them. And that's gonna be us accessing our network file share, finding those important documents. And we'll go ahead and start downing them to our local drive. And as we get those documents, we're going to go ahead and try to extract a customer record database, which I actually already have an encrypted copy of it. Um, but in the meantime, we're going to take that document and we're going to just to see what happens with our existing security controls, perhaps try to upload this data to Pastebin or any other random website just to see what we can do. So let's go ahead and try to create a new paste. Oh, seems we've been coached. Uh, we saw a bunch of triggers. But for sanity's sake, let's just go ahead and say, this is personal data. I am allowed to do this. And this is where the risk adaptive uh, already starts to come in place. So we're gonna go ahead and allow it, even though we know we shouldn't. Um, from here, you know, Phil's getting a little nervous. We've already started stockpiling those documents, right? So let's see if we can try to bypass those controls using encrypted methods. So we've already taken this document, and we've taken those source files and I've actually already password protected them. And as well as this important documents, let's go ahead and compress those. Go ahead and add them to an archive. And we're also gonna password protect those as well. And now we think that we're not going to be able to securely inspect those files. So let's go ahead and try to email myself those customer records. Oh, it seems we uh, seem some file access permission that's actually preventing us from securely encrypting those file formats as Risk Adaptive is designed to do. And then from here, we're gonna go ahead and try to insert those password protected customer records that I think belong to myself. And we'll try to exfiltrate that out. 
And as you can see, we have a series of now audits moving up to in coaches up to coaching and now additional blocking and mechanisms are coming into place trying to override those existing permissions. And this is really where risk adaptive is, is coming into play. So as the user's risk score upticks, we already have been moved into a, a read-only mode for any potential abuse on USB drives. And if we try to take that stockpile yeah. zip, for example, now, you see access has been denied. And if we try one other attempt to offload this information to a USB drive, we can probably see that this is about to fail. So you can see us trying to move the documents over web, USB, email channel, and a plethora of other channels, as well, even file access. We can actually start preventing more proactively any potential data exfil. And what's really nice is that when you tie our force point insider threat solution into the mix, we can start monitoring even for video. And here you can actually see the several events that I actually tried to trigger, all starting with when I tried to upload the resume, stockpile those documents, clear system event logs. We now have video evidence of everything coming to fruition, including all the data expo attempts.